Hi, my name is Simon and today I'm going to show you how to run some games using Mercade and Mir on Ubuntu Core. Uh, this video is part of a series of blog posts you can find at www.liberbiber.de. Uh, the blog post for this video is called Mir and Graphics on Ubuntu Core and was published on February 27, 2017. So I have already set up my virtual machine as shown in the first uh, two blog posts and now I am going to use it again but uh, with a small difference. You need to uh, activate uh, the VGA adapter uh, QXL in the QEMU um, command line otherwise you don't have any graphics. So now it's booting. And the difference you can see uh, between running it without the VGA parameter and with it is that now um, already the boot messages appear in a graphical uh, mode and not in uh, normal text mode. So I will now SSH into my virtual machine. And the first step is to install the mirror lips. The Merlips are uh, being used later by the Mer Kiosk and by the Mercade snaps. So now it's time to install Mer Kiosk, the actual um, Mer display server. And the final step, install. As you have seen um, in the QEMU, you just saw that um, it switched to a graphics mode, um, filled the screen with red and faded to black. Um, that's what you see when Mercuriosk has actually started. And now it's time to install Mercade. This takes a bit as the snap is uh, 268 megabytes. Luckily, I have a fast internet connection. And as you see, nothing's happening. And that's because we still have to connect the interfaces. If you run snap interfaces, you see that in the last line, uh, Mercade is not connected to the Merlips. Um, there's no slot. So I have to do it that manually. And yet again, nothing happens because I have to reboot. So it's booting. And if everything worked, we should now see Mercade coming up. Yep. So Mercade is a launcher for a variety of games. Um, I have the full list of games available in my blog post. So let's play some. Uh, let's start with chess. Uh, you can either use the mouse and click at the top or at the bottom to switch games and then click it on the text to choose the game or use the left and right uh, cursor buttons on the uh, keyboard. So let's play chess. Uh, yeah, that took a while. That's um, pretty normal. Those games uh, sometimes take a while to start. And I'm not good at chess. So, um, let's play a simple game. And as you see, it's lagging a little bit. Um, that's not necessarily due to QEMU. Um, there are other games which run pretty well and there are some with lots of lagging and uh, sometimes even the input events from your keyboard or mouse get lost. So, and as you can see, um, many of the buttons don't have any uh, description or icon on that. And there's sometimes a little bit of um, graphical art artifacts visible. So I'm going to abandon the game. Hmm, that was not it. Uh, I want to stop the game and because I can't see anything. Nope. Ah, uh, yeah, so um, 
the layout of this game corresponds to the GNOME layout. Um, but as you can see, I was able to press the button. Now I'm not able to select the quit item. So I couldn't get out of the chess game because I couldn't see the icons, but um, I just um, restarted the virtual machine and now we're going to play another, a different game. Um, something with a little bit of action. Let's play Neverball. And again, it takes quite a while for the game to start. Yeah. So and performance is not the best. Hmm. So let's create a username. Uh, so input is lagging quite behind and it lost my uh, press of the enter key when I was on the S before. So let's not bother with this too much. Let's start an easy game. No, I'm not on hard. Hmm. And let's look at the actual gameplay. Oh well, it works quite well in the emulator. And depending on the uh, mood of the system, you can either see um, Neverball either in the lower left of your screen and some parts of it are cut off, or it's in the center and there's uh, parts around it, there's a black border. And you can't see uh, all of the contents of the game. Um, I think I have a picture in the blog post where you can see um, the kinds of um, different graphical artifacts that happen. So in contrast to chess, I'm able to exit Neverball. Uh, Neverput is the same engine uh, as Neverball. Both Neverball and Neverput were already ported to the Ubuntu phones, which uh, use the Mirror Display Server. So I think those are using communicating with me natively. Uh, let's play one of the more well-known games like Pingus. It's a 2D game. Ah, yeah, it's not full screen again. Um, performance is again not the best. Yeah. So let's actually play the game. Okay, but for this, um, for this game, performance seems to be good, quite good enough. It's playable even in the emulator. Oh yeah, and we can see it works. So let's go back and play yet another game. Um, Project Starfighter is a 2D side-scroller set in space. And this one's actually the game which worked best for me. Works quite well. And this is also pretty much the only game which actually runs in full screen on Mercade. But yet again, I'm not able to exit from this game easily. Now there's a huge explosion. Game over. Ah, yeah, back to the menu again. And let's look at SuperTux 2. Ah, this one also runs in full screen, but performance is very bad, <laughs> much worse than with the other game uh, than with the other games. So performance is so bad that it's actually not really easy to select anything because the lag between input and direction is so high. Yeah, even in the game, if you hear the lag between me pressing the space bar and the character actually starting to jump, it's not the best.
So, that was it for today. And uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.